Wait, so you do grammar and spelling now? So I'm just doing it for you, Michaela, because you're not at school today. Because Mrs. Jones, now that all of Mrs. Jones's students are here, she doesn't have a reason to record it. So she would record it just for you. But since I'm recording it for my virtual students, I just sent you my link because we do the same thing anyways. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started. All right. So remember, the first page was all about complete subjects and predicates. And previously in the year, we learned about subject and predicates. So some of you kind of, no one, you have to go find your grammar so you can follow along. Some of you didn't do the whole complete subject and the complete predicate. You just did the subject or the predicate. So make sure you're following along and correcting it as you go. So each sentence has a complete subject and a complete predicate. We know that. The complete subject has all the words. That's the key thing. All the words to tell whom or what it's about. Complete predicate is saying what it does or what it did. Okay? So our example is the huge brown dog ran across the street. Who? The huge brown dog. What? Or those are the words that it's about. And then the predicate ran across the street. That's what it did. Okay, so previously the subject would be dog. And what did it do? It ran. But we want the complete subject and the complete predicate. So the directions were to highlight the complete subject and underline the complete predicate. Some of you guys did that backwards. So it's really important that you read the directions. So we're going to fill these in. So number one, the girl with the blue ribbon was running for class president. Landon, what is my complete subject here? Who's it about? What am I highlighting? Yep, that's the whole thing. So the girl with the blue ribbon should be highlighted just like what I did. And then what is my complete predicate? Marissa, what am I underlining? Marissa, you don't need headphones on, girlfriend. What am I underlining? I'm underlining the other half of the sentence because that is my predicate. So the girl with the blue ribbon should have been highlighted, was running for class president, should be underlined. Okay? Good, good, good. All right, we're going to go on to number two scroll a little bit for my friends here at class. Number two, this whole page is the same thing. The poster with the sparkles was Raina. So what is my subject? My subject isn't a person this time. It's a thing. What am I highlighting? What am I highlighting, Zachary? With the sparkles, because I want the whole complete thing. So it's not just the poster, but it's the poster with the sparkles. And then I need my predicate. What is my predicate? Um, Brochelle, what's my predicate? What? Was Raina should be underlined. Woot, woot. Make sure you're following along if you're at home. Michaela, girlfriend, let's focus. All right. Number three, Raina's parents and friends helped her write her speech. What is my complete subject? What is being underlined here, Evan? What should I underline in number three? I meant not underline, I meant highlighted, sorry. Raina's parents and friends, okay? Yeah, that's chill. If you, if you breathe, you'd be all right. So Raina's parents and friends is what should be highlighted. Lots of you had this right, but if some of you guys got it wrong, which is no big deal. That's why we're practicing it. And then what was the predicate? What did they do, Molly? Help to write her speech. Make sure you have that helped word there. That's important because that's the predicate itself. Help to write her speech. Fabulous. Number four, the past class president always works to improve the school. Who is this about? What is my subject? Lillian, do you know what my subject is? Oh, we're on number four. So, yep, the past class presidents. That's who we're talking about. So the past class president should be underlined. And then, I meant highlighted. If you saw what I did and I said the wrong word, you know what it is, sir, friend. 
Uh, Julian, do you know what my uh, complete predicate is? What am I underlining? To improve the school. We want the whole complete thing, okay? All the students cast their votes. Who are we talking about? Kylan, do you know who we're talking about? Yeah, so all of the students, perfect. All of the students is being highlighted. And what is being underlined, Olive? Yup, cast their votes, fabulous. Remember, it's the complete thing. So you want the whole thing, not just the subject, not just the predicate, you want the complete subject, the complete predicate. And number six, the last one for this, someone in the lobby yelled that the votes were in. Who are we talking about? What is our subject? Molly, what's our subject? Yup. Someone in the lobby. And what are we underlining, Landon? Yup, that's what they did. They yelled that the votes were in. Are there currently any questions on one through six? Now is the time to ask questions on one through six. Your quiz tomorrow will have some questions involving complete subject and predicate. If there's no questions from people at home or people in school, I'm going to move on to page two. Are we ready for page two? All right, then I'm going to head to page two. Page two was on subject verb agreement. So a subject and a verb should agree. And this is a lot of reading the sentence and saying, hey, does that make sense? Hey, does that not make sense? So all we had to do, there were four, but there was two of each. So there was eight on this page. You had to read the sentence and pick which word needed to go in it. So I'm just gonna highlight it, highlight the correct word instead of typing it in. Whatever you did was fine, but it's just gonna be easier for Mrs. Kneifel to highlight the correct word. So number one, everyone has already voted or everyone have already voted. Oh, sorry. Okay, everyone, which one should I highlight? has when i say everyone that means you guys can just say it. everyone has already voted so you should have either typed typed in has or underlined it or whatever you did to show me you choose that the students is excited to hear the results or the students are excited to hear the results everyone oh. are the students are excited the students is sounds silly because it's students it's plural so i need that plural subject or that plural a uh, verb the principal was going to recount the votes by herself the principal were everyone what is it was yep perfect number two two the teacher has offered to help the teacher have offered to help what is it boys and girls has yep this one is literally you just got to read both sentences. And just by the way we talk, we should know, oh, yep, that's the answer. All of the students thinks, Raina won. All of the students think, Raina won. Which one, guys? Think. 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 No S on the end. What? Yeah. She is not certain. She are not certain. What is it, boys and girls? Is correct, correct. Remember, you should be correcting it on your page if you don't have it right. Or if you never did it, you should be filling it on your page because you're allowed to use this homework page slash practice page on your quiz tomorrow. So you want it to be right on your page. Mr. Rushing, tell the rowdy students to be patient. Mr. Rushing tells the rowdy students to be patient. What is it, boys and girls? Tells, yep. And the last one for page two is they begin to quiet down. They begins to quiet down. What is it, everyone? Begin. Begin. Perfect. Are there any questions on page two, Miss Molly? Two, two was has, H-A-S. Oh, I lied. I thought it was teacher. Sorry. Look, Mrs. Kneifel's wrong because I read it wrong. That's why it's important. It should be have because it's the teachers, plural, have offered to help. Mrs. Kneifel read it as teacher. 
which then it would be has. So that's my bad. Number two, two should be have, not has. I'm sorry. See, that's why it's important to, you know, follow along so you know, or why it's important to really read things. I read that wrong. That's totally my bad. It should be have. Thank you for asking that, Molly. Yeah, that was my bad. All right. If there's no other questions on page two, two, I'm going to head to page three. Page three was two steps. And I'm going to let you know, a lot of you missed points because I'm going to move it. A lot of you missed points because you only bothered to do half the steps. And that's a problem. You only either added the comma or the conjunction. You didn't do both. So some of you lost points that way. So a commas in compound sentences. In compound sentences, it takes two shorter sentences and we smash them together with the comma or and, but, so, or, or. And then those are the conjunctions, and, but, so, or, or. So all we're going to do is we're going to read the words, or we're going to read the sentences together, and we have to decide what goes in there, and we also have to add the comma. So there, this lovely page is already telling us where it needs to go because they have that line. We just have to decide which conjunction we're putting in there and which, um, and, of course, to add the comma. The comma goes before. Everyone say before. Before the conjunction, that's important, okay? All right. So directions, add the correct punctuation to each item, a compound sentence, then write the word that is used to join the shorter sentences. So blue and red confetti fell from the ceiling. Blank, it covered the winter. The first thing we need to do is add what, everyone? Comma. So I'm throwing in my comma. And then what word do we think should go in here? Does anyone know? Marissa, what word did you put in there? And, yep. Blue and red confetti fell from the ceiling, comma, and it covered the winter. Good job. If you did not have those, please put them now. Number two, music played in the auditorium. We thought it was too loud. What do I need to add first, everyone? Comma, after auditorium. What word is my conjunction? What is my conjunction word, Molly? But music played in the auditorium, but we thought it was too loud. Great job. No, it's just moving slow. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's moving slow. But it's, if you're listening to me and you're here at school, then you can do it. All right. Number three, the winner wanted to give a speech. Blank. A teacher turned down the music. So if I want, oh, wait, I just said it. I'm so awesome. All right, what's the first thing I have to add, everyone? Uh, Comma, after speech, before our conjunction. And our conjunction is what, everyone? Mrs. Kniff already said it. So, I said it. You guys missed it. A winner wanted to give a speech, comma, so a teacher turned down the music. I want to do this, so this has to happen. Raina thanked everyone for voting. Blank, she promised to work hard for the school. What do I need to add first, everyone? Comma. Comma. And then I can. What is my conjunction, Landon? And. and. So I'm thanking you, and I'm also promising to work hard. And our final one, final one. She wanted to raise funds by selling T-shirts. Blank. The class could wash cars. So she wanted to raise funds by selling t-shirts blank. The class could wash cars. So I need to add what first? Rochelle, what's my conjunction? All right, so I thought it was so too, but it's close. So when I first read it, I was thinking that she wanted to raise funds for t-shirts, but it's by selling t-shirts blank car wash so those are two different things you could do and so instead of so do you know what it is God, sorry close if it's two different things it's this blank this ava so she wanted to raise funds by selling t-shirts and the class so and could work Blank, the other one. Well, we haven't, the only one we haven't done is or. So I would have accepted and or or. So she wanted to raise funds by selling, by selling class t-shirts and the class could wash cars. 
Or you could have said she wanted to raise funds by selling class t-shirts or the class could wash cars. What? That's not one of our things. And, but, or, so. Okay, those were your only choices. Are there any questions on any of our grammar sentences? So remember, tomorrow morning, the grammar test will be posted. And I'm telling you, you are free to you and Avery, now that you're virtual, you'll be taking your test from my Google Classroom. After today, I'm going to have Mrs. Jones take you out of her homeroom, and then you'll just be in my homeroom for spelling and grammar, okay? Michaela, obviously, you'll be in Mrs. Jones's for your quizzes because you're just home today. Everyone, your things will be posted. Yes, Nolan. Do I ever use a school or like hybrid account, or do I just have a bunch of school? Well, your mom signed you up to come to school all the time. So I'm going to let you lovely people go. Um, okay, cool, Michaela. So uh, rotation two does not start till 11.05. So if you are in my home room, Michaela, I don't know what you're supposed to do now, but if I were, if you have spelling, you should probably do your spelling. My class, I did not assign you guys any spelling. So I would like you guys to just go on Spelling City and practice your spelling words until rotation two. I will post this for anyone who didn't get to see it. Way to go on your grammar, guys. Way to get it done. Thank you for joining. Michaela. I lied to you. I did not record my first um, reading lesson. I forgot. So in rotation two, I'll record it. And then the link will be out. So it's just going to take a little longer for the link to get out. That was my bad. I'm sorry. Yes, Olive. Okay. All right. So you guys are free to go. Make an iPhone. Yes. What time is reading class? So reading class already happened, but I forgot to, it was at um, 9.30, but I forgot to record it. That was my bad. So um, I'm going to record it in rotation two, and then I'll send it out. All we had to do today was take that quiz. That's all it was. Oh, yeah, what's the code word for it? Because you We're never- We're not doing code words anymore since there's so few um, students. So there'll be no more code words at, starting today. So- is that the same for all classes? Um, at least for my class. I don't know about the uh, Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Siddig, but I currently am not going to do code words. Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Siddig will let you guys know that later. Okay. You may Bye. Have, have a good day. Bye. I don't know. Yes, Landon. Um, what week is it? Module one, week three. The fact that you don't know that worries me, sir.